So it's dollar day and I'm heading up to Goodwill in Glendale, Arizona to see what I can find for a buck to sell for a profit. Now to find a parking spot. Let's go do this. the first section I looked at were the t-shirts and I found this awesome vintage Teamsters Union single stitch t-shirt with a really big graphic on the back local 104 perfect and I found this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt I might keep this one super cute they had this really big stand of these LP records, vintage records, and I thought maybe they just brought them out. So I am looking for vintage rock and roll bands, vintage rap, vintage grunge music. All that stuff is worth so much. I used to have a very big record collection. I even had a vintage Woodstock album and a Cheech and Chong album that when you open it, it's like the car doors full of marijuana. They were so cool. I used to spend hours and hours listening to music and looking at the pictures in my record collection. It was just really good times and a lot of people back in the day just the art on records is just so cool. Even the art on these records is, is so rad. I like to look at the, the old fashions people are wearing on the records and like look at that, <laughs> these suits, so cool. They're might have been some records in here worth some money. I did not look any of these up because I was just after the vintage rock and roll, vintage rap, or vintage grunge music. So this really, really, really old music isn't my thing, but I'm sure that somebody will pick some of these up and enjoy them. There was just so many cool records. On my way over to the toy section and I thought I would look through the kids shoes and I did find a really cool find right here look at these silver boots they don't look at like anything but when I turned them over they were UGG definitely pick those up they're coming with me I definitely love to look at these bags of cars. One time I found a bag and it had a red line vintage car in it and I sold that one car for $70. So I always look at these bags. And for that bag I only paid like $1.99. I saw this Littlest Pet Shop little play set back here. I was going to look it up, but then I noticed the door was broken, so... I wanted to film so much more in the store, but there was this guy that kept following me around and talking to me until I told him I was married. Then he left me alone. <laughs> I saw these all full, brand new in box, vintage Avon chess piece perfume set. I looked them up on eBay and they did not go for very much, but I would have got them if they were worth a good flip. They were $12.99 per package and I didn't think that was a very good profit, so I put those back. And 
this little singing child little figurine was so beautiful. It wasn't marked and I didn't know really how to look it up so I left that behind. And I did look up those Funko Pops and they weren't worth very much. If you guys want to see everything that I got on this trip and a few more thrift trips, I'm going to in to make a haul video on my next video. I already have it started and show you all everything that I've been picking up. So stick around and subscribe to my channel so you'll get alerted when I upload that video. And I also added a buy me a coffee link. You can tip me through there. I haven't had anyone buy me a coffee yet. It's a great way to tip a creator. So every time I'm looking through the glass section, I'm always trying to look for fire and light. I am bound and determined to find fire and light someday. It's on my bucket list. I saw this vintage knife set here. It was not marked and it was missing one of the knives. I thought it was pretty unique in the wooden case though. I was looking to see if it was marked here. No, no markings, but they were really cool. But it was missing one of the knives, so I left that behind. Then I saw these cute little coasters. At first I thought they were tiles. I did okay in there. Not any home runs or anything, but I thought that single stitch shirt was really cool and I got a blanket. I spent $33. So if you're new to my channel, um, I'm a reseller. I sell things online for profit. I go to thrift stores and do haul videos and thrift with me's. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if that's what you're interested in seeing.